BBC Radio Sheffield. Sounds good to me. I'll be up for it. Uh, let's talk now to Carl Stancliffe, who's a wedding photographer. Did David Blunkett's wedding, actually. Uh, Carl, uh, do you think weddings have changed in recent times? Uh, without a doubt. Um, the brides and grooms are, are wanting a lot more um, for their wedding, um, and they're wanting to be very particular about what they want as well. What sort of things are they wanting now that they weren't, say, five, ten years ago then? Um, things like um, electronic copies of photographs is obviously um, uh, on the big increase, um, but also doing the silly, the little things like um, creating guest books from their photographs themselves and making it very personalised to their wedding day. Do you get the sense that, I mean, you probably know better than most, people are prepared to spend more money on all this than they were ten years ago? Um, yes, I think they are. I think they realise that um, capturing that special day is important. And, and actually having the right people and the right um, end products to to commemorate such a special event is actually a, a much more important than I think it ever was. We were hearing from this vicar saying that he thought the average now was about 20,000. Uh, so how much of that would go to a photographer, Carl, these days? And an average photographer, a good photographer, would probably be charging somewhere in the region of two to two and a half thousand pounds for a base package, and then you could be spending anything for twice that much um, by the time you finished to get, uh, you know, something, a really top-end album with DVDs and, and thank you cards and, and a whole raft of other things that, that photographers provide these days. And does that, I don't suppose it would shock you, I think it shocks me, that is a very large amount of money, oddly enough, when everyone's got a camera. I know, and it's, it, it stands me even more because I actually sell more prints than I've ever done before. Um, so it's, the, whilst a lot of people do want to capture that day for themselves, they also realise that whilst they may have a camera that's capable of taking those photographs, they can't necessarily reproduce what a professional photographer can. All oh, right, so it's at that point when you start zhuzhing them up, is it? Yeah, I mean, most, all, the, all the prints that we certainly send out are, are pre-edited before they actually go out. Um, we want actually the very best of the photographs to go out to our clients. Um, and that's what they demand these days as well. Do you get the impression that people are spending even more money on the frills of the wedding, not just on the, on the uh, photographer, but on things that they weren't doing 10 years ago? Absolutely. I think entertainment for weddings is actually another big area. Um, before it was um, maybe a dad sat at a piano or a, a, a DJ, whereas they're actually spending a lot more on entertaining their clients as well in the evening. And that certainly is a bigger increase. Do you ever go around yourself while taking photographs at weddings thinking a bit like this rather sour vicar is that uh, too many modern weddings have lost their way and that the wedding itself might be a threat to the marriage to follow? Uh, the, the more pre pretentious the wedding, the more likely uh, the marriage won't succeed. Um, not necessarily. I mean, you can go to very simple and elegant weddings and they will be the ones that don't survive and you can go to some, you know, very flamboyant weddings and you can just see it between the couple that they're... They're so madly deeply that, you know, it wouldn't matter what they spent on the wedding. If it was £10 or £20,000, you know, they're going to be always together. So it, I think it's down to the couple themselves. And, and um, some couples are slightly more um, capable of spending more to celebrate the day and others aren't. Carl, thank you very much indeed. Carl Stancliffe there. Weddings, we'll come back to it.